we have a lot of work to do. Okay, so if you saw my last condo hunting video, you'll know that I recently moved into a new place. I've actually been here for a few months now, but the summer has been pretty busy, so I haven't had the chance to fully move in and set everything up. And to be honest, I've gotten kind of comfortable with how messy this room is, so I didn't have the motivation to try and reorganize and set this whole room up, but it has to be done, so might as well do it now. I do have my main desk area set up and that's because it hasn't really changed since the last time I did one of these desk setup videos, and we'll go over the changes there after we clean this place up. This is actually the first time I've ever had a separate dedicated room for my desk and office setup. I'm super grateful to have this room as my own space to work with and the thought process was having this dedicated space would make creating content that much easier, especially since I'm balancing content with a full-time job. And I've been here for a few months already, but I'm still amazed by the view every day. You can see the CN Tower and the Rogers Center right there, the lake, Toronto Island, and all of the boats. And it wraps around to this west-facing view, which just reminds me why I love this city so much. All right, as I mentioned, the only thing that's pretty much set up in this room is my main work desk. And that's because this setup hasn't really changed much. If you saw my last desk setup video from 2023, I'm still using the same 72 inch standing desk from Bureautic, 34 inch monitor from Dell, and some Grove made accessories like this desk shelf, which have all held up amazingly well. I did make some smaller upgrades though, like swapping my Audio Engine A2 speakers for these Edifier MR4s, which are cheaper and sound better. And I also picked up this BenQ monitor light bar, which I love and will probably make a short about. It's such a premium addition to the desk and so helpful for my eyes, I definitely recommend it. But the biggest upgrade to the main desk area is this Herman Miller Embody Gaming chair that I'm sitting in. They did send the chair to me, but they haven't paid me to say anything, and it's truly been a game changer. I sit all day for work since I work from home, and when I'm not working, I'm probably either gaming or doing something else like editing on my desk, so a comfortable and supportive chair is super important to me. I definitely think a solid chair is one of the best investments you can make for your desk and your room setup, especially if you spend more than a few hours per day sitting. And you've probably heard of Herman Miller before, they make some of the best ergonomic chairs on the market, but Herman Miller Gaming takes that value prop to redefine what a premium gaming chair should look and feel like. So I have the Embody Gaming Chair here, which was made in collaboration with Logitech G in the full black colorway that looks really sleek with the white accents. Everything about this chair feels super premium and well-built, and it looks pretty unassuming, but there's a lot of features that make it such a perfect chair for me. It's extremely adjustable to all body types and provides so much support. All of these arms in the back help with even pressure distribution, and you can even fine-tune the back pressure to fit your spine's neutral posture. The chair is also made with a cooling foam material that reduces heat buildup over long gaming and working sessions. And the shape of the chair is quite wide so it can fit all my weird sitting positions. I've been using and testing this chair for hours on end every day. And the most important thing is that it's super comfortable whether I'm sitting upright to script a video or play some games or reclining back to read a book. And the chair comes fully assembled so it's ready to use right out of the box and you get a 12 year warranty on all Herman Miller gaming chairs so they are built to last. Anyways, this chair has really elevated my main desk area and just how productive I am overall. So if you're interested in a premium ergonomic gaming chair, check out the Embody Gaming Chair by Herman Miller Gaming. Links will be in the description below along with all the other products in the setup. The last upgrade to the desk was replacing my old Mauno microphone and boom arm with a new set. The mic's a bit better but the boom arm looks a lot better in my opinion with the cables hidden now. And then for other peripherals, I'm still using my Niz Micro 82 keyboard with the electrocapacitive switches. I've been testing and giving away other mechanical keyboards on TikTok and Instagram, but this one's still the most comfortable to me, especially since I have to do a lot of typing. I also picked up a secondary mouse, the Logitech MX Master 3S for when I'm not gaming. You've probably seen every YouTuber use this and it's because it's really ergonomic for these long working sessions. Anyways, this isn't the perfect setup and there are some upgrades I've been wanting to make like getting a new gaming PC, but this main desk setup has held up well for now and has made me a lot more productive. Okay, now let's talk about the biggest change I was looking forward to in my new office studio room and that's having a second desk dedicated to filming content, specifically facing this window. Man, I've been switching lanes all the time on the net AKA I'm just on the edge hanging man Jump down your net, no got no kill, sick of money I told me I eat them all done, can't you get it? Burning down, yeah, and the time's getting out I can say what I wanna know the time to find to Listen, I'll tell you why I'm thinking we're just fine Feel like I am falling deeper 
I did some measuring and I could fit another desk up to 60 inches without blocking the door, but I probably don't need something that big. So I just picked up this 48 inch tabletop from Ikea to mount on some simple legs. And it's actually pretty sturdy for an Ikea desk. The color of this tabletop is a bit questionable, but I thought it would be a good default backdrop for filming product videos. And the goal is to eventually have a few different textures and colors that I can switch around on top of this table. And speaking of product videos, I always struggled with top-down shots. So I finally decided to invest in this top-down rig that I picked up from Amazon. And if you ever get one of these, make sure it's long enough because yesterday I bought one that was too short and had to exchange it. And with that, the second desk is looking quite nice. And even with the door open, I actually have a bit of extra space here. So maybe I can fill it with some storage drawers and switch out this lamp. But I don't know, this room will probably be a work in progress where I slowly add to it over the next few months. All right, the last main thing to do to wrap up this room is to accessorize it a bit and fill up these empty white walls. This is probably the biggest empty space in the room. And originally I wanted to fill it with those acoustic wood panels that you see everywhere, but it would be a whole mission to try and custom fit it in here and we are on a budget. So instead I found these acoustic panels that you can install with command strips on Amazon and I think they should be much easier. Simple, simple, simple minds. I guess we'll take it one by one, baby, one by one. I don't know if these will actually do anything to dampen the sound in the room, but anything helps I guess since there's so many windows in here. And I also have this deconstructed original iPhone art piece from Grid Studio that I've been wanting to hang up and I think this might be the perfect spot right beside the acoustic panels. Okay, my closet over there is a complete mess filled with boxes of random products, so we're not even gonna try and talk about cleaning it today. But I did get this pegboard from Ikea, which I heard is a pretty good life hack to just try and tidy up the space a little bit. And then near the door, I have this corner that I knew would fit an Ikea shelf perfectly. Of course, I have my friend Chris here again to help me set up my shelf from Ikea. With the shelf finally set up, most of the room is coming together and that pretty much wraps up the office studio setup for today. I really wanted the shelf in my last bedroom and I love how there's so many levels to display different books, memorabilia, and other fun decor like this Lego Porsche. The last thing to do is fill this room with more lighting and I need to do more lamp shopping but I did get this Gobi light strip lamp to start. And this IKEA three-headed lamp from Facebook Marketplace as the main light source in this room. This is by no means a completed office studio setup video. There are definitely more small pieces I want to grab and place in here to make the room feel more personal. So make sure you're subscribed to see those in the future. But my goal is to create a space that makes me feel more productive and creative. And I think we did a pretty good job for now. Thanks so much for watching until the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.